we're doing well today. Today, lunch crunch, we're gonna tackle the core. Great ab workout for you today. It's gonna to hit the obliques, abdominals, erectors in the lower back. So really help those support muscles of the core. It's gonna interval style training. We're doing 40 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. Guys, we have got six movements. Um, all you'll need is, is maybe a mat or towel from the floor and you can get through this and really it's very portable. You can do this anywhere. So your office, while you're traveling, at home, wherever you're at, you can do this. Uh, let me walk through the exercises we're gonna do today uh, so you have a better understanding of what's gonna happen. And again, I'll do this with you in real time. So it should be very, very easy to kind of follow along, even if you're not familiar with these exercises. All right? We're gonna start with in-out leg lifts. Uh, I call them M's. It looks like you're kind of carving an M. Okay, so in-out leg lifts. Then we're gonna go to a bicycle. We're gonna go one side at a time. We're gonna come across with a cross crunch and then just a little ankle or toe tap, okay? So a little different than reaches. So this, we're just going to go for the ankle or toe, all right? So the leg stays bent the whole time. Then we're gonna do a crunch, cross reach, come back, crunch, cross reach the other way. So it's a crunch and then alternating ceiling reaches, all right? From there, we'll get in a low plank, uh, again, changing our body position, and we're gonna do knee drives. And if you haven't done those before, man, they are great, they are challenging. They will really make that core work. And man, it takes maybe some of the boredom out of just holding the plank, right? Um, then we're on the back, guys, and we're gonna do um, lateral scissor kicks. So we're gonna go kind of crossover, so we'll alternate one leg over the other one. Um, just trying to get the lower abs and obliques kind of working in a little different dynamic than we normally would. Uh, we'll finish off with swimmers. We're going to do a slight pause at the top, so opposite extremities coming up. Slight pause, and then we'll switch sides. Okay, so don't go too quickly in those, and don't go too high. Don't need a lot of range of motion. We'll rest 30 seconds, and then we will repeat that. And that is going to be about a 12-minute workout, and I promise you, you will feel the core. Great for any fitness level because of the time on here, because of the intervals, you can get more work in. Now be under control, but if you're if you're if you're super fit, you do this all the time, you're gonna get more work in those 40 seconds. If you're just beginning, man, that's awesome. Get what you can. If you need to take a short break, do it, but get as much work as you can in the 40 seconds. All right. Hey, let's get started. I'm gonna lean back. We're gonna get our interval timer running here. Okay. We're starting with M's, okay? In, out, leg lifts, all right? So here we go. We're going out, in. Okay, watch your lower back. Be under control. Knees don't lock out the quads. We're trying to hit the core. So keep those knees soft. you can in those 40 seconds. I keep on thinking of M&Ms. Here we go. Block them out. All right. We're laying back. Okay, so now those hip flexors get a little break. We're doing a bicycle toe tap. Okay, one side at a time. So here we go. Coming across. Tap. Across. So it's like this double contraction at the top. And it will really challenge that core. Woo! Lighten up already. Guys, we're gonna hit the other way. Here we go.
stretch that core, that really beats him up. Uh, man, no real breaks. The legs did a little bit of a break here. We're gonna get in a crunch position, knees bent, feet flat on the floor, crunch, and then cross reach. So I'm gonna crunch, reach, and back, crunch. A little more upper ab involvement with this one. Slight rotation, getting those obliques involved a little bit. And it's tough. Don't pull the head. Let the core do all the work. Just try to support that head and neck, not pull it. Alright, so guys, now we're going to do a low plank knee drive. Great exercise. Make sure you have good support on the shoulders. And we're just going to drive in. knees in. Those are tough for 40 seconds. All right, we have these cross scissor kicks. Okay, you can put your hands down. So if we put it on the hips, I'm gonna put it behind the head. And we're just gonna do these little scissor crossovers. If you get too low, if you your lower back, just bring your feet up a little bit higher, okay? Also, if you bring your shoulders up slightly, that will help pin your lower back down. Great job. Feeling that core under 10. have swimmers, so opposite extremities. Just pause for a moment, don't go too high. And here we go, opposite extremities up. Yes, we have a 30 second break. So it goes quick, but those exercises make you really work. All right, so take a breath or two. We need to get back into our seated position. We have the in out leg lifts. Woo wee! 40 seconds. Man, it seems a lot longer than it is. Here we go. seconds. Okay, let's lay back. Bicycle toe tap. Oh, the way. Here we go.
other side. Crunch reach. job. Low plank knee drive. Here we go. These will make it work a little bit. Just slide that knee in. here. Laying back. Scissor kicks. Flying through this workout. Okay, swimmers. Here we go. Slow and controlled. Let's alternate sides. So there's always work going on. You don't have to hold everything up, but as one comes down, the other one. Comes up, hitting those erectors, glutes, hamstrings a little bit. Oh man, okay. That was about 12 minutes well spent. Hope you guys enjoyed that routine hitting the core from just a lot of different positions. So, uh, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Keep watching Elite Fitness, and I'll keep bringing wellness 